Would you give your wallet to a stranger? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Imagine, if a stranger were to walk up to you on the street and ask you for your wallet, would you hand it over? And I'm not talking about robbery here. I mean that someone you've never met before simply walks up, gives you what sounds like a semi-plausible reason, and asks for your wallet. Would you hand it over? Of course not. And yet, I hear of people doing much, much worse almost every day. I am, of course, referring to the scam where someone calls you, they say that they're from Microsoft, your ISP, or some other official sounding source, tells you that your computer is causing errors of some sort on the internet, or gives you some kind of a sign that your computer is causing problems, has you verify the situation by pointing out the large number of errors shown in Event Viewer, and offers to fix it for you by taking remote control of your computer. Don't do it. It's a scam. It's a trap. These people are lying to you. And it's worse than handing them your wallet. Whenever we give someone access to our computer, we're placing a tremendous amount of trust in that individual. We trust, of course, that they know what they're doing. We trust that they can fix whatever needs fixing. We trust that they won't recommend things we don't need. And we trust that if we're paying them, we're paying a reasonable amount. In short, we trust that they're really here to help us. But the trust actually runs much deeper than that. We trust they won't go poking around on our computer looking for things that aren't involved in their repair or the assistance. We trust that they won't make copies of things from our computer. We trust that they won't steal information from our computer. We trust that they won't install malware that spies on us after they're done. We trust that they won't do something malicious to our computer and then hold it hostage. The scammers? They've done all these things to those who unwittingly trusted them. Now, honestly, this applies to anyone whom you're considering have help you, be it the techie friend, the computer repair person, or the application support person you've contacted. You're placing all that trust in them as well. Do you trust them? Why? Make sure you clearly understand the answer to both of these questions before you hand over the keys to your kingdom. If you waffle on either, do you trust them or why? Consider looking elsewhere for help. And for Pete's sake, if somebody you don't know calls you and offers to help, hang up immediately. As I said earlier, yeah, it's actually safer to hand over your wallet to a complete stranger than it is to let a complete stranger take control of your computer. Why? You know what's in your wallet. Even if you get it back, you immediately know what's missing and you know what needs to be done. Credit cards need to be canceled, replacement ID cards need to be ordered, a new photo of the spouse, kids, and pets needs to be printed. You know your new wallet with your new cards is completely within your control. That's simply not true if somebody compromises your computer. Once they're done, you don't know what's missing, you don't know what's been copied, you don't know what's been added, and you don't know what's safe. That's an awful lot of don't know. Bottom line, never give anyone who calls you remote access to your computer. And in all other cases, Make absolutely certain you know and truly trust the individuals that you do give any kind of access to. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 18213. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.